Hello again and welcome to another Smile Create Repeat demonstration video. This one is for the January 2015 box. It's a painting with paper. We're going to do a nice little paper cut illustration for you here um, using some of the supplies in the January surprise. All right, this uh, I'm uh, working on the ballerina from the demo extra sheet that you can download on the website and the finish illustration that you can make is right there but we're just going to work on the ballerina part so right here I already have a lot of the pieces cut out the body, the hair, the crown the dress, the leotard, and then the shoes and I'm going to show you how I did that with the legs. Here's a piece of the nice color aid paper. And I have my drawing here that I'm using as a guide. And what I did is I played tic-tac-toe with my daughter, but I also scribbled with the pencil on the back. And then when I draw it on the paper, I'll transfer the lines that I made. So I position it under there, make sure it's over there, and I grab a ballpoint pen or anything, doesn't matter, This is these just work easily uh, on the paper, and then just trace it, and if there's something that I don't like about the drawing that I already had, I can change it, and I'm drawing it a little smaller on the foot because I already cut out the foot, so I want to make sure that it's, well, I want to try to make it smaller than it's going to be. So there's one. And then I'll draw the other one, or trace the other one. Let's see if I can get it on that piece. Yep, I think that lines up. Okay. And there's the other one, and I missed the foot here. Why is that? I didn't didn't do enough ink uh, pencil on the other side. <clears throat> so now we're just going to cut it out. I have these scissors here. I like to cut it out just a, a quick rough cut to get rid of some of the extra paper, so I can use that for later, and then just cut it out. And you can also use an X-Acto blade on a cutting mat. Just careful that's sharp, of course, and be careful with these scissors. These are nice and sharp, too. And the ends here are going to be under the dress, so you want to give, make them a little longer than, than what's showing on the drawing. Oh, let me show you there, like here, you can see. I traced all the way up to here. Even though the dress is going to cover it, I have it up to there just to make sure it doesn't show. The edge doesn't show. Sometimes, because of my big fingers, I try, I, I use a tw the tweezers here to hold it so I can cut it a little easier. And I'm going a little quicker than I would if I was just doing it for myself. So take your time and cut it nice. There's one leg. And that one I just cut right off because that's going to be underneath the shoe. So it doesn't matter what that end looks like. So I'm just being careful the contours of the leg and then the top and that's it for that so now we're going to start putting it together I have my Elmer's glue pen um, it's got a, a nice pointy tip for some detail probably a little still a little big for this illustration and then a big fat tip that we're not going to use for this one at all 
So what I what I did is I put a little bit of glue on this piece of cardboard and I'm going to use that as my glue palette kind of. And then I'm going to start on the bottom. So what what's on the the, the lowest level would be her skin here. So what we're going to do is put this leotard on her like that and then the hair and all that but first we're going to erase some of the pencil marks are still on here so we just take uh, if you have a kneaded eraser from one of our other boxes um, you can use that or just any eraser you have and just gently pull it away from where your finger is so it doesn't crinkle just to clean it up a little bit then spin it around There you go, especially on the skin. I'm going to be a little more gentle on this because it's really small. Okay, and I'm not going to just show you all of this, but I would clean that up a little bit more. Actually, that's the last one, so I will just clean that up a little better for you. Just make sure all the pencils gone out and the legs have a lot on it. So just run it. Oops, see, I just crinkled the foot. Hopefully that will be under the the point shoes, so it won't be a problem. Nope, that part's not gonna be. So you gotta be more careful than I'm being. All right. <clears throat> so you can. So also, what I do is I take this drawing again, and I put them on there, just so I have a better idea of where the pieces need to go, and how I want it to line up on my drawing. I'm going to start with the hair. So I'm grabbing, and this is just a brown piece of uh, scrapbooking paper that's got a little texture so I thought that'd be nice for the hair um, so if you have any other papers either even cardboard um, maybe from cereal boxes or even um, pages from magazines if there's a nice picture and you cut out maybe some of the blue sky you could use that blue sky texture abstractly as maybe uh, the dress on someone or something like that so it's kind of like a collage but you can you don't need to use the sky as the sky you can use the sky just as texture on whatever you want um, so yep yeah, so I'm gonna do this here let's turn it around like that and I'm gonna dab it on this paint I mean <laughs> this glue and then place it on my girl. Oops, oh, it's moving around too much. And there's where I want it. Okay, now I'm going to do the crown. And I just hit, touch it with my finger sometimes if, I, if, you, if your fingers are too dry or something. If you, just breathe on a little bit that gets just enough moisture to stick it to it so then you can pick it up and again this piece is really small oops I just dropped it again so you'll want to use your tweezers and get a little bit of glue because you don't want too much on there that's probably too much but we'll see oh just fell out And there, there's the crown, and I just push it, see what it looks like, and that doesn't look right, so i got to push it down a little bit. So there's that, and I'm trying not to stick it to the white paper, the drawing paper here, so if I, I think I did get a little glue on there, so I'm picking it up gently, because I don't want it to stick to that. 
So that's what I have so far. So, so I'm going to let that sit for a minute. And let's see what else we can work on. Maybe we can do the socks. Oh, the socks. The shoes on the legs. And I, and I kind of like doing parts of it separately and then connecting it all together. So again, I'm lining that up roughly. And I know that's this shoe. So I'm going to dab this. And, yeah, this works well. Then line it up. Make sure I get her shoe on. And you can put the shoe on, and then even though there's the... You can still move it around, because it's not... Um, it doesn't dry that quick, of course. As you all know from using glue before. So there's that, and I have a little bit of the foot... The leg paper showing through, so I have to move it down and over a little bit. So I should have cut the shoe just a little bigger, if you would, if you don't want to be super, super careful. Um, otherwise, just be super careful. Oh, and then this little piece. This is a tiny one. I hope you're all having a great new year and had a great holiday. Um, it's cold here today, I'm sitting in my studio with the wood stove going, so it's pretty warm here, but it's about 11 degrees outside. Uh, and the wind chill tomorrow is supposed to be about 20 below, so that's going to be another good day to stay inside and maybe do a little painting or something. I'll share it with you if I, if I end up working on a painting. So this little the leg part where the foot is, I made too long because remember the pencil line wasn't there so I just went a little farther and I went a little too far. And I might have just cut off too much. Nope, didn't. Perfect. Eh, maybe not perfect, but pretty good. Um, so now we're going to... So now this, the whole thing is not going to be on the leg. So I'm just going to get a little bit of, of the glue on the end, because that's all the part that's going to be on her foot, on her leg I mean, and then I'm going to hold this down, and there we go, hey that was good, first try, ah, oh, now I messed it up, okay, and then we'll get the rest of her shoe on the wraps on them. And it's been cold for a few days, so the other day, um, my wife and kids and I all did a little paper cut illustration, so I'm going to show those to you at the end of the video, so those are pretty funny. I think I just took that off camera, sorry guys. Sometimes when I get in the mode, I just have to create. Don't know what's going on around me. And so that one is sloppy. I just used my pen cap. It's sloppy, so i got to turn that a little bit before the glue dries. There we go. <clears throat> oh, that one's sticking to the white paper, so let's see if we can put it there. Okay. So now, this is probably dry enough. I'm gonna. I'm hoping it is. Here, I'll put it on here so you can see a little better. Here's her leotard, and this. I am gonna put. I'm gonna use the same way I've been doing everything. Let's see if this glue has dried up too much yet. Oh, it has not. I need a little more than that. Good. Oh, that was too much, actually. Oh, well. So now I'm just going to put it on. Because now you know where it is. If you cut this out carefully, you'll know the top here 
of the leotard go on her shoulders and then this edge will go along the front of her and then this edge will be right on her back so should be able to line it up pretty close yeah that's not too bad there we go and I'm gonna leave it like that this piece up because I put some glue on there and I don't want it to stick to this brown and that should actually come down and what you could do here, if you do have an X-Acto blade, this little bit here, I would probably cut so it's tighter to her skin. I really should have made this a bigger illustration for you guys and for my big fingers. So this part, her tutu, is going to go something like that. But you're not going to want it above the arm here. Ugh, you can't even see it. So here we go again. Let me try that again. So the tutu here is going to go about here, but you're not going to want it above her arm because her arm should be in front of it. So when you stick it, put a little there and stick it to the, to the leotard, you're going to want to put it, slide it under there. And that's really a cool thing about paper, is to have the layers the three-dimensional layers to really create a two-dimensional drawing or illustration so so I wanted to show you that I'm going to wrap it up here soon but I wanted to show you some more details you could add um, if you have a pencil and you want to you can add maybe a little pink on her cheek and I'm doing it really gently and that might be enough just a little detail like that or maybe use if you have your pencil still you can add an eyebrow and maybe a closed eye and maybe a little smile three little lines She's very happy to be dancing. Trying to show the layers and texture. And so something else I wanted to talk about real quick is if you build up some layers, I have three little pieces of scrap cardboard here that you can put down. Oh, they're not stuck yet. You can put down and then with your with your illustration Let me get a little glue on the back there. No, oh, I think that glue has dried. Yep. Okay. Well, let me just show you. So if you put this here, then you have the added depth of it. And you can show layers. So if you were doing a whole, uh, an entire illustration, if that was the background, um, like on here, maybe she's on the stage here and this is the backdrop. So you could really put this piece of, this whole illustration on a piece of paper and then make the stage front here and her on a layer above it and that'll just add a really neat sculpture effect see how she's above it and it's kinda nice or maybe you don't think it's nice but it's a different way of doing it so I'm gonna finish up by showing you the other paper cuts I'm gonna finish um, my ballerina up off camera and I will post that on the blog at smilecreaterepeat.com and on our Facebook page um, and probably put it on Pinterest too. So you'll be able to see it in any of those places um, probably later today, uh, later Wednesday. And here we are. So when we were doing some paper cut illustrations, I did some of these, these little sketches as just some ideas just to see, uh, just to give everyone an option of what to do. So my five-year-old daughter 
I'll tell you, do hers late last. My seven-year-old son did his all by himself, and this is a, uh, a background piece of paper we used, and this is watercolor color pencils that we have a big sheet of watercolor paper. We did that, and we just like the texture and the variety of colors, so that's what he used as his background. Um, they, we, we didn't do it separately, like how, how we did this one here today. We did it all right on the paper, just because it's a little easier um, just to do. So he stuck the body first, and then we lifted it up a little bit, stuck this arm down and the leg down, and we built it up on layers just like the ballerina. We had the body, we had the nose, the arms, and he picked all these colors and cut it all out. The mouth, the teeth, the tongue, the eye, the pupil, and then the eyebrows. And then we went back in, just like I did with the details of the cheek and the face. He put the tongue lines. He wanted to add the lines for the fingers and then his closed eye. So he did a really great job. Seven years old. My wife picked the little doll, and she did a great job. I'm not going to tell you how old she is. Um, and she just cut all these out, and when she was doing it, she put the face on top of the dress. And then as she was doing it, she realized that would look much better having that underneath. So she got an X-Acto blade, just pulled the paper up a little bit, and then stuck it under there. And then she put different papers here. If you look here, this paper is this paper is in front of the doll's face and then she has the doll's cheek here lifted up to go over this hair here because it would be it would be in front of the hair back there and then she took another piece of paper in a different color and added that here and then added some pencil lines for detail and you can see the glue got a little messy mixing with the ink and the pen that she used to make the face and she did a nice uh, she used paper a purple paint uh, on watercolor paper as her background and after she did this she thought of that it'd be nice if she added another shape here behind her to have two different colors to show there was a floor so you really want to think about what you're doing and lay it out a little better we we had a bit of a commotion with the three kids at the table all working together so she was a slightly distracted but it turned out great and then my five-year-old daughter picked out all the colors for this one she also did the monster uh, they were picking all the kids picked out the colors from all the papers we had to choose from uh, the body on this one is a watercolor paper that we used um, with a bunch of different colors just all mixed up and it looked like a yucky monster color so that's what she picked so she uh, she uh, I traced the pieces onto the paper she cut out most of the shapes um, I just helped her with in between the fingers and the little teeth and up here and I think I did that one um, but she did everything else she did a fantastic job um, she helped me glue it all down I helped her position it a little bit um, and then we stuck it again to this purple paper and we have some texture here and then she went and added this nice green hill because she was coming up with a great story about how this monster is near a pond with a bunch of little duckies that he was going to eat so we all it was pretty funny um, so that's what's down here a bunch of little duckies at a pond I would assume trying to get away from this scary monster and there's some nice clouds in the sky and she also added um, the little bumps on the back of the monster just with her pen and she added the eye the other way and then the tongue line she did a great job and then the drawing I did here the little boy who got a toy who maybe he didn't like it that much and here's that one and so what I did is they're all all different pieces cut the hair is a piece here to go behind the head here's another piece of brown to go behind the head and those are darker than this one this is just craft paper I used for the front and then I have a piece of different color flesh color than this one just to show the eyelids 
and then the eyes, and then the nose, and then the eyebrows, pupils, and mouth are added with color pencil. And then another thing you can do is I use brown textured scrapbooking paper. Um, scrapbooking paper, there's a lot of fun scrapbooking papers with different textures um, and prints and all that kind of stuff that you could use if you if you tried that a long time ago and don't really scrapbook anymore you can still use that stuff um, so on the shirt I have just dark blue and then I used I did a pattern um, with blue colored pencil and I tried to vary it so it could separate this front arm the back arm and then the body of it, or the body of the boy. Then his hand, and then you have the, whoops, then you have the rabbit, and you can see those are all different pieces, showing the inside of his ear, the belly, his back arm, his back leg, his front leg, his front arm's coming up there, his tail, his belly, his nose, and then I drew the whiskers, the eyes, and the mouth. And here's what the back looks like. Layered. I used a couple pieces of tape here because there wasn't much area grabbing each other and this part I wanted to, to hold together while I'm showing you here so so there you go and that one I could put on a piece of paper or a different, different, couple different pieces of paper and you could try different ones out and see what the feeling is maybe you want it on a dark blue sky to show or maybe dark purple to show that he's sad or maybe this brown doesn't look too bad um, so that's it. So thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, please, uh, you can send us an email at the website, smilecreaterepeat.com, or leave a comment in the video section. Let me know if you like it or if you don't. Uh, if you don't, please be nice and constructive. If you do, tell me whatever you want. Uh, thanks again. Again, Happy New Year, and take care. See you in about a month.